Welcome to the 2021 RoboGal Science Challenge Virtual Awards Ceremony. The RoboGal Science Challenge is a global STEM competition for girls and gender diverse students aged 5 to 15. Today, we're celebrating the accomplishments of our participants who have completed their major challenges. Before we begin, it's customary in Australia and in some other countries to pay our respect to and be mindful of the peoples, cultures and traditions of the various lands which we're on today. So, I'd like to begin today by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the many lands on which we're meeting today. We pay our respect to their elders past, present and emerging, and we extend that respect to Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander and other Indigenous peoples joining us today. Today, we'll first hear from our acting CEO, Sam Chia. Then we'll extend our gratitude to the organisations that help support this year's science challenge. RoboGals is a global organisation. We'll be hearing from our three regional executive officers who will discuss some of the highlights from this year. Thereafter, our industry judges will introduce themselves before helping us to announce this year's first, second and third place prizes across the three age categories, junior, intermediate and senior. So here's Sam. Hello everyone and welcome to the RoboGirls Science Challenge 2021 Virtual Awards Ceremony. My name is Sam and I'm the acting CEO of RoboGirls. First of all, I'd like to say a massive congratulations to everyone who participated in the Science Challenge this year. RoboGirls is all about creating opportunities for girls to explore and discover engineering and science and you all have done exactly that. Our Science Challenge team has sent me videos um, of all the finalists um, and I've watched them all and I have been all sorts of impressed by your analytical skills, by your creativity, by your ability to communicate. Um, these are all skills that will help you excel in a career in engineering or science um, or whatever path you end up taking. It's even more impressive that you've been able to create such high quality work in what has been a turbulent couple of years. I know that school's been tough with many areas of the country I'm experiencing lockdown and COVID related restrictions. Um, and I want to acknowledge the additional challenges that every student here has faced um, and also the hard work and sacrifice of parents, of guardians, of teachers in supporting these students. Now our women in STEM are a resilient and resourceful bunch and one of the women who's always inspired me is Marita Cheng, who's the founder of RoboGirls. Um, when she was a university student, she was invited to run a robotics workshop in, in a school by her teacher and she thought it was great fun, but that, you know, everybody else should also have a chance to experience this sort of fun. Um, so she found a few more volunteers and started RoboGirls in Melbourne. Um, we're now in over 10 countries around the world, and we've taught more than 130 girls. Marita is now in the US. She's leading tech startups um, that create apps and robots to help um, make people's lives easier. So no matter where you place today, um, you are standing amongst amazing people. So continue to be curious, to explore, to learn, and I'm sure we'll be hearing about your inspiring achievements in the future. Thank you, Sam. The Science Challenge team would now like to extend our gratitude to KPMG Australia and to Beck Engineering for their support of this year's competition. Two of our wonderful judges for this year, Nina and Faiza, are from KPMG, and they've spent time looking carefully at all of your fantastic major challenge entries. Additionally, KPMG assisted us with the creation of this year's major challenge prompt. What are emerging and proven technologies that we can use to improve the supply of important products around the globe, for example, food and vaccines? Beck Engineering has been supporting RoboGals since its inception in 2008. Additionally, we would like to thank Dr. David Beck for being a judge for this year's competition and for taking the time to review our participants' major challenge entries. Now we will hear from our three regional executive officers. Hi, my name is Emily Locke, one of the regional executive officers at RoboGals. My job is to lead the Asia Pacific region. Outside of RoboGals, I am studying for a master's degree in mechanical engineering and I work part-time as an engineer in the defense industry. In 2021, the RoboGas Science Challenge reached over 130 students through a combination of minor challenges, the major challenge, and science and engineering days. We received a total of 94 minor challenge submissions and 25 submissions for the major challenge. This year, we introduced nine new challenges in the fields of software engineering, electrical engineering, and spatial engineering. 
These new challenges were virtual, which meant that students could complete them using only an electronic device with internet access. Additionally, we held science and engineering days in collaboration with some of our Australian chapters. We held two virtual ones with the Melbourne and Monash chapters and a face-to-face -face one with the Canberra chapter with 87 participants across the three chapters. Hello, my name is Maniba and I am the Regional Executive Officer for the Europe, Middle East and Africa region. I am a physicist and I am currently studying how I can use my physics knowledge to create sustainable energy solutions. The Science Challenge has all been about giving you tricky science and engineering problems and we have been blown away by all your unique and fantastic solutions. It has been wonderful to hear how you've all taken part in this competition because you think science is fun, and I agree. Science is all around us and we can use our scientific knowledge to come up with solutions to real world problems. Here at RoboGals, we believe that science is for everyone. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from, we can all become scientists and find science fun and exciting. We need scientists from all over the world, from different backgrounds, to create solutions to our world's problems. With diverse people, you get diverse ideas, and through this competition, you've shown us that. The Science Challenge competition has allowed all of you from across the globe to come up with unique and incredible solutions to various different challenges. Each of you have brought a unique perspective from your corner of the world, and we've greatly enjoyed seeing your different ideas. The Science Challenge has been specifically for young people like you, and we hope that you've had fun exploring topics in science and engineering. And we hope you keep asking questions and experimenting, because we definitely need more scientists like you in our world. Hello, my name is Jackie Betancourt. I am the current Regional Executive Officer for the RoboGals North American Region. I studied computer engineering in school, and I am currently working full-time as a quality assurance engineer in the tech industry. I want to start off by saying that everyone who has participated in the Science Challenge this year has blown me away with your work. Your research, presentations, creativity, and passion come across in all your contributions and is something you should definitely be proud of. You're all out there doing incredible things every day. Thank you for contributing something incredible to our RoboGals community. Being able to engage with students like you across the world through workshops, school visits, and initiatives like the Science Challenge is one of the reasons volunteering with RoboGals is so rewarding. By participating in the Science Challenge, you have all taken the time to grow in your learning, share your creativity, and, well, hopefully challenge yourself a bit along the way too. I wish for you all to stay curious about the world around you and good luck in your future. I have no doubt it will be bright. Thank you, Emily, Maniba, and Jackie. I'd now like to welcome two of our industry judges, Nina and Pfizer, and our project director, Brinda. We would also again like to thank Dr. David Beck from Beck Engineering for assisting us with judging this year's competition. Hi everyone, I'm Nina and I'm a consultant at KPMG Australia. So I sit in the workday practice within the tech implementation team. So what I do in my role is I help uh, our clients transform their business processes as well as implement the workday solutions for them in able to transform their business. What I love most about my role is that I, every day I'm talking to the clients and making sure that they are getting what they need and answering any questions that they have as well and it's always satisfying to see the end result of them getting a solution that they wanted and a solution that benefits them and improves their overall business processes. Hi, my name is Faiza and I work as a senior consultant at KPMG Perth's Cybersecurity and Technology Risk Management Department. Now, as part of this wonderful profession, I get the opportunity to visit various organizations from different industries, look up their weaknesses in their technological architectures and propose new ways and ideas on how we can strengthen their environments in order to protect them from any known or unknown vulnerabilities, threats, or attacks. Now, cybersecurity and technology risk management is a very interesting field. I would highly recommend that you look it up and see for yourself. It's certainly my passion. Hi, everyone. I'm Brinda Gupta, and I'm the project director for the RoboGals Asia Pacific Initiatives team. 
As part of this role, I am in charge of the team which is responsible for organising and running the Robo Girls Science Challenge annually. Outside of my work with Robo Girls, I am currently completing my PhD in Computational Biochemistry over at the Australian National University. My PhD research is looking at understanding how bacteria fight against our current drugs and then using this knowledge to help guide the development of new and more efficient therapeutics. I really enjoy what I do as I am able to pursue the areas of science which I find really interesting while still making a positive impact in society. I think also the COVID pandemic in particular has really highlighted the importance of continued scientific research, particularly in the medical sphere as I am doing. Thank you, Nina, Pfizer and Brenda for your inspiring words. Now back to our judges again, who will announce our finalists. First, we will have Nina announce the junior category winners. When watching the videos, it just amazes me how, how young you guys are and how talented you are in creating these videos and coming up with these ideas and doing the experiments and finding the outcome of the experience and what you've learned from that as well. That's something that I really loved watching and loved reading your responses to as well. So just as Lucia, I loved how you were exploring um, how biodegradable glitters work and whether it's actually biodegradable or not. I found it quite interesting actually that in your uh, experiment it actually didn't decompose. So now we know that biodegradable glitter, um, the ones that are being sold, aren't really that reliable. So great stuff actually something that I've learned as well, but it was great to see that you've done that um, experiment and sort of got a result out of that. Um, with Marie Chantel, I loved how you created a robot to tell you whether it's raining outside or not. It's quite creative actually. Sometimes I wish I wake up and I see, oh, it gets cold. Yep, it's raining. Make sure you bring your jacket. So such a like, creative idea from you. And I love to see how you came up with the concept and how you put that into practice and that's something that was great to see from you as well. And for Josephine, I love the shout out to Girl Power, it's all about girl power here. Um, so with the filter, um, the filter system, I loved how you explained each component of the filter and how each of it works and also in the video showing it working in action as well and that's something that I liked. Um, it was great stuff and keep up the good work. So now I'll be announcing the rankings for all our entrants. So in third place, we have Lucia. So congratulations, Lucia, you, you did such a great job. Keep up the good work and keep being curious in science. In second place, we have Marie Chantel. Again, congratulations to Marie, you did such a great job. And keep being curious in science as well. And in first place, we have Josephine. Congratulations, Josephine. You did such a good job with your video and your responses. Keep being curious and girl power to you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Nina. Now on to Pfizer for the announcement of the intermediate category finalists. It brings me great honor and joy to state that this was my first time judging the science challenge and I witnessed such great and compelling science ideas by such talented participants. Each one of you demonstrated excellent ideas with amazing insights and pretty awesome practical stuff. There has got to be three winners at this stage. So without any further ado, let's start with the third place. The third place goes to Casey Florence whose idea of nanobots in the field of medicine was very well thought out and presented in a very organized manner. So congratulations, Casey. Second prize goes to Eliza Cox for her interesting take on the automated PDLC patches. It was very creative and visionary. Congrats, Eliza. Finally, the first prize goes to Anushka Gupta for her interesting idea of ethical sourcing of Kakao's um, business via NFT and blockchain. Now Anushka's idea is very progressive and practically viable. This could definitely encourage Kakao's business model to be ethical and transparent globally. So congratulations Anushka. Once again, thank you all for participating and sharing such great ideas and insights. 
I thoroughly enjoyed each and every presentation and definitely would look forward to some great ideas next year. Thank you. Thank you, Faiza. Now, on to Brenda for the announcement of the senior category finalists. I now have the pleasure of announcing the prize recipients for the senior category of the 2021 Robogas Science Challenge. In third place, we have Fiona Seymour with her fascinating project on pepsin protection. I particularly enjoyed the societal applications of your findings for conditions like acid reflux and GERD. You also displayed a really thorough understanding of the scientific method in your experimentation. Next up, in second place, we have Siddhartha Bihira and Saira with this, with their project on building an e-sanitizer. It was great to see you tackling such a pertinent problem in our current pandemic climate. The design, execution and scientific understanding for your project were all very, very sound. It was also great to see you were able to pick up some new skills during the completion of your project. And finally, in first place, we have Jasmine Wu, whose project looked at how to increase fidget spinning time. This was a really comprehensive project, which showed a great depth of understanding of the scientific principles underlying your project. You definitely showed how science is really all around us in the world, even in the simple things such as a fidget spinner. A big congratulations to all our prize winners for this year, and thank you to everyone who participated in the Robogal Science Challenge for 2021. We hope to see you again next year. Thanks. Well done to all of our finalists. All of us here at Robogals were really impressed by the quality of your entries. Now we're going to hear some final words from Sam. Hello again. Thank you very much for coming along to our awards ceremony tonight. It's been fantastic to be able to share this time together, even if we couldn't physically be in the same space. Congratulations to all of our finalists um, tonight. I look forward to seeing what amazing things you do in the future and hopefully see you again next year. Thank you, Sam. You can sign up to the 2022 Science Challenge to access our minor challenges when they're released early next year and to stay informed about our 2022 dates and the science and engineering days, which we are planning for multiple locations all around the world. You can follow us on our Facebook page and visit our website for more information. Thank you again for joining us today at the 2021 Robogal Science Challenge Virtual Awards Ceremony. Congratulations to all of our participants and finalists. We hope to see you all next year. Thank you. Mm -hmm.